bees are disappearing worldwide. Scientists' theories as to why include a mite that attacks bees, pesticides that kill the insects, habitat loss, and even bad nutrition for bees. And the cause for concern goes well beyond the collapse of honeybee colonies. Bees help pollinate 35% of the world's food. The Franklin's bumblebee alone would help pollinate cranberries, blueberries, and melons. But that type of bee may already be extinct. Bee vacuum in one hand and net in the other, Robin Thorpe is on a quest. So we're coming into the area where I last saw Franklin's. He's searching the mountains of Oregon for Franklin's bumblebee. It's a species he's believed to be the last person on earth to have seen alive. And he's got a sample of the bee in the back of his truck. It's from the 1950s. And this is Franklin's. And you can see she has a black face, a little touch of whitish hair there, but pretty subtle. This is a bee that could be extinct in the wild. Could be. I'm not willing to give up on it, but uh, I'm hoping it's still out there under the radar. The last time he saw it was 2006, exactly 10 years before he invited me to join him. Thorpe is 83 now, a retired professor from UC Davis, and mostly he works alone, day after day, year after year. I spent two days looking for Franklin's bumblebee with Thorpe. I found the work absolutely maddening. The ones that you hear fly by your ear, I'm always suspicious, well, that meant, must have been a Franklin's. I don't think you can put an economic value on a species. They're all priceless, really. But uh, Franklin's is one that I've had a lot of uh, personal investment in. And uh, yeah, I feel uh, an attachment and kinship to it. I'm not sure whether he'll find it, but maybe that's beside the point. The truth is that for anyone to know a species like Franklin's bumblebee had vanished, someone like Thorpe has to be looking.